Apple has unveiled their biggest design overall in over a decade, liquid glass. A design language that makes every UI element look like actual frosted glass that reacts to light and movement in real time. And while we are waiting for iOS 26 to drop later this year, I'm going to show you exactly how to implement these glass effects in your React Native apps. Apple describes liquid glass as a dynamic material that combines the optical properties of glass with a sense of fluidity, offering glass-like transparency that adapts in real time. Designed to replicate the optical qualities of glass, it uses Gaussian blur algorithms combined with realistic lightning shaders to create authentic glass appearances, while dynamically refracting and reflecting any element placed behind it to achieve a lifelike effect. It adjusts transparency levels and contrast to ensure text and icons remain readable regardless of background content maintaining a clear hierarchy between content and controls. We're gonna cover how to use liquid glass in React Native. And if you are interested in learning React Native from ground up, you can subscribe to Candy Ocean newsletter. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. So to kick things off, we're gonna install Expo Liquid Glass View in a brand new boilerplate. Import corner style Expo Liquid Glass View as well as liquid glass type once imported. We also need to install React Native video as we're gonna be rendering video behind the liquid glass view. The first profit source, we will provide the URI as video URL. Right after the source, we will provide style and we're gonna be using the dynamic styles from reanimated. We have video with a width and height width will be used from use window dimensions it provides the width of the screen then we're going to be using border radius resize mode to cover repeat and muted meaning the video will be repeated and it won't give any sound then we will place x for liquid glass with the first prop of corner style continuous this gives it nice squircles Right after that, we have liquid glass type, we have clear, we have interactive, identity, regular and tint. With tint, we get the option to give the tint and it's more readable. We're going to be using clear, add the corner radius for giving it a squircle border radius. Then we have the style of glass overlay. This is again going to be part of the reanimated transition. We will give it a much smaller width and height than the video and we want this to be at the bottom so we're going to be using position absolute and bottom value to 16. We'll click and when it transitions we can see the dynamic liquid glass coming into picture. This liquid glass adapts to the background and reflects and reflects based on what's behind it.